Boeing Global Services is the very fast growing third arm of the Boeing business. And here at MRO Europe, I think David Longridge is vice president for that division now, can tell us just how big a market is this in, uh, in Europe? In Europe, it's about, uh, the services business is about a $1.7 trillion business over the next 20 years, and it's growing at 3%. So it's a hugely important market for everybody in aerospace. So you can understand then why Boeing wants to be part of that business, but what are you going to be able to do that a, a, an MRO can't do now? I think one of the great things that we offer that MROs uh, perhaps fall short on is the ability to offer a huge spectrum of services, including training, digital products, navigational data products, engineering and turning your airplane perhaps into a freighter, as well as even maintaining airworthiness for your airplane. So it's the breadth of products that we offer at BGS that we're very proud of and I think puts us a little bit above some of your standard MROs. So in, in terms, uh, you, you mentioned training there. We know there's a huge shortage of technicians and, and engineers. Is that something Boeing's going to be focusing on? Absolutely. We see that there are pockets of really unexpected, very high demand around the world. And we're working with airlines everywhere um, in all different continents to find solutions to get them the pilots that they need. It's a real pressing problem. It's not just pilots, it's also engineers and cabin crew. Uh, the world tends to focus on pilots, but we're committed to train every aspect of the aerospace uh, marketplace in order to get the uh, airlines the people that they need. So offering this total package, I think uh, Norwegian, I think of one of your, your customers, how does that work? Norwegian's a great example because not only do we train all of their pilots uh, through a special system that we have, we also maintain airworthiness for both their 737 MAX and 787 fleets. So we're basically doing all of the work to get the airplanes into the air and keep them airworthy and we let Norwegian focus on the things like uh, tickets and revenue and getting passengers on the airplane and making sure the passengers have a great experience, which really is what an airline wants to focus on, its revenue side. So now you're further downstream, you perhaps find, even with the great maintenance capabilities um, of the Boeing in its original design, that things don't necessarily fit the way you want. Are you able to feed that back? Yeah, absolutely. We've always designed airplanes to be easy to maintain. It's one of our core design philosophies. We had a chief mechanic position on the certification of the 777. Same thing with the 737NG and the 87. I will say, though, that the focus on services and maintaining airworthiness for the airplanes at fleets like Norwegian has given us an even sharper focus on what happens after the airplane leaves the factory and goes into service. And it helps us design even better airplanes with this sharper focus. Great. David, thank you very much. Thank you very much.